After trying the porridge, Goldilocks felt very tired, so she wandered into the bear's bedroom. There, she found three beds lined up in a row, one large, one medium, and one small. Curious, Goldilocks decided to try them out. First, she lay down on the big bed. Oh no, she exclaimed. This bed is much too hard. So she moved to the medium bed. Ouch, this bed is much too soft, she sighed. Finally, Goldilocks lay down on the smallest bed. Ah, uh, this bed is just right, she whispered with a smile. She snuggled in, pulled the blanket up, and before she knew it, she drifted off to sleep. Meanwhile, the three bears returned from their morning walk, hoping to enjoy their breakfast. When they saw the kitchen, however, Papa Bear's eyes grew wide. Someone's been eating my porridge, he growled. Mama Bear noticed her bowl and said, Someone's been eating my porridge too. Then Baby Bear looked at his bowl and cried, Someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. Surprised and a little worried, the bears moved into the living room. Papa Bear saw his chair and frowned. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he rumbled. Mama Bear looked at her chair and said, Someone's been sitting in my chair, too. Baby Bear looked at his little chair and wailed, Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it. Now, the bears were quite upset, and they all headed to the bedroom. Papa Bear checked his bed and said, Someone's been lying in my bed. Mama Bear looked at her bed and added, Someone's been lying in my bed too. Then Baby Bear looked at his bed and cried out, Someone's been lying in my bed, and she's still there. Goldilocks suddenly woke up to see three bears staring at her, their eyes wide with surprise and confusion. She let out a loud gasp, jumped out of the bed, and ran as fast as her feet could carry her. She dashed out of the bear's cottage and didn't stop running until she was far, far away. From that day on, Goldilocks learned to be more careful and respectful of others' homes. And as for the three bears, they never left their door unlocked again.